Hey guys, I'm going to be showing you how to make a flashing image in Photoshop. First thing you're going to do is going to make sure you have the animation toolbar open by going to Window, Animation. Next thing you're going to do is start a new project, which you probably already knew. I'm going to make mine, I don't know, let's go 900 by 900. Now what you're going to do is you're going to duplicate the background layer and delete the first one so it's not locked anymore. <laughs> then you're going to make another copy of the background layer. Now what you're going to do is you're going to hide one of the copies so you just have one of them visible. <coughs> then you're going to drop a color onto the background by selecting that layer, make sure you have it selected, and then dropping the color in the background with the paint bucket tool. And you're going to make the image not visible. Then you're going to put the other um, layer visible and the other one non visible, and put the other color you want so that it flashes too. Now you're going to make sure you have the first one highlighted and uh, visible and the second one non-visible and put the text that you want. So I'm just going to put the text that I want to have in there. And you got to make sure that the uh, text layer is above the uh, background layer. I don't know why, but when I open this up in uh, Camus, Dia, or whatever, Studio, it made it so it zooms in whenever I do stuff. I don't like that. But whatever. I'll figure out how to get rid of that later. Uh, okay, so now you're going to do that. You're going to go and make a new frame by clicking that button I just showed there. And you're going to hide what you just did, hide the two layers that you already had, and make the other two visible. <coughs> I forgot to mention that you had to duplicate the uh, text layer, but you can still do that right now. I kind of messed up on that. Duplicate the text layer after you moved it to the center. And then you can just change it to the op opposing color that you have and right here is where I messed up and I didn't put the text layer above my uh, background layer why is it such crappy quality I gotta use fraps again I'm actually recording the voice after I did the video because I screwed up on the first voice so sorry if it's a little messed up okay if you don't hear so the zero seconds, you can change it to how much you want it delayed when it flashes. I'll go no delay, and it'll do that. Um, when you render it out, it won't have all that messing up, but that's just for now. I'm going to change mine to half a second, and then click play once I realize that I didn't. Okay. And see, it has a half second delay. You can do that. If you click other, you can type in your own your own setting. But that's about it. I don't know how uh, the video is almost over. So that's about it. Um, thank you for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. I don't rate anymore. Just thumbs up or whatever.